Sebastian Auger's win in Monte Carlo meant he started first on the road, acting as a snowplow and effectively putting him out of contention here from the start. Estepeca Lappi was the best of the Toyotas, despite losing grip in stage six and in a flash his Yaris took a bite at a snowbank and swallowed a vomit full. Craig Breen made a great start to finish Friday in fourth just ahead of Mads Osberg, clocking up his first ever Swedish stage win in the process. For Sweden is Hayden Padden's first event of the season for Hyundai. He also notched up a stage win to end the day third ahead of Breen. Andreas Wickelson made the most of his latest start, making his move on the morning loop and ending the day within touching distance of the lead. But it was the Belgian, Thierry Neville, who took the lead. He was focused, he was fast, and this time he was consistent too. Saturday, Chris Meek becoming the first to retire here in Sweden after hitting one of the massive snowbanks. The fans pushed him back out onto the road, but with engine power lost, Oit Tanak loomed large in his rear view mirrors. Tanak tried to force his way past, but only succeeded in bouncing off Meek into the scenery. Two minutes lost by Tanak, Meek would retire on the road section. Elvin Evans also disappeared into a snowbank, almost a minute lost trying to get going again there. And then Mickelson blinked at this fast corner and his Hyundai was pulled into the snow. Great Breen continued his course for the best results of his WRC career. He's driving a touch cavalier at times. Out in front on his own, Thierry Neville, until he almost threw it away with a spin at the same spot as Mickelson, followed by an outrageous leap at Collins Crest. And so to the final day, Auger deciding to enter the final power stays late so he would have a better starting position. Penalties dropping him to 10th, losing him a point, but gaining him four for second place in the power stage. Hayden Padden looked on course for fourth, but a stall in the final stage saw him lose that place to Esapaka Lappi. Mickelson finished a strong rally for him and Hyundai with third place and three power stage points. But arguably the driver of the weekend came from Craig Breen, posting his best ever result, finishing second which left Jerry Neville, who'd led from the third stage of the rally, to claim the honours, laying the ghost of 2017 to rest in the process. So that was Sweden, where Neville's winning margin was 19.8 seconds over being a personal best for the Irishman. Mickelson with a first podium since Germany last year, and Lappy pitting pattern for fourth. In the driver's standing then, Neville takes a 10-point lead over Ogier. Three Toyota drivers, Lapala, Lappy and Tanak, separated by just two points. And in the manufacturers, well, it's been flipped on its head. Two cars on the podium means Hyundai stormed from last to first, with M Sport Ford moving in the opposite direction. Get all the action, all live. Anywhere anytime WRC plus all live